Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And Android Auto has been out for a little while now and you've only been able to use it if your vehicle came pre-installed with it. Well now that has actually changed and just about anyone can get Android Auto in their car via their Android smartphone. All right, so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit today and shoot this video in my car. Hopefully the audio sounds okay and the video looks good. But right away, you'll see Android Auto is right here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be driving and shooting at the same time, I have someone helping me out with that. Uh, but you'll see it loaded on up, and here is the home screen. So it gives you a bunch of information in terms of music, lets you know how long to get to your house, weather, some messages that you might have, and maybe some desired locations that you may want to go to. Now you can swipe over from the left where you exit the app, you have some various settings where you can customize your auto reply. You can limit Wi-Fi as well if you're going to be driving. Obviously, you don't need Wi-Fi on necessarily. You can use Bluetooth as well, uh, which means Bluetooth is going to work while Android Auto is running. You can have screen on as well. Now, you'll notice that it is kind of blown up just a little bit bigger in general. And quick side note, I'm actually using the two Logitech car mounts that Google offers in the Google Store. You can also buy them from Logitech's website. Uh, the vent mount is $60 and the dashboard mount is actually $80, so a bit hefty on the price. And you do need to put a metal piece, a metal magnet on the back of your device. And I do want to say both of them work how they should. Both of them are great. You can use it uh, vertically. You can also put them on horizontally as well. Um, you can go ahead and set that there and you'll see it works just fine horizontally. All right, continuing on, sorry for the mini review, but you have some options over here where you can also go ahead and go into navigation where it'll show you traffic patterns. Even if you don't have a destination in, you can just go ahead and drive with this up, which is what standard what uh, is going to work with your Android Auto and your dash. Uh, so if you drive, it'll move, let you know some specific uh, traffic patterns. You'll see I-90 is, of course, backed up if you're from Chicago and then of course you can go to calls where it's going to bring a list up of maybe your favorites or your most recent calls as well and then you have music as well and you'll see I have Google Play music loaded up however you can press it again and it brings a drop down of your various apps now within Google Play music they also offer music for driving which are just various playlists and you'll see it'll load up suggested playlist as you can see and then of course you have podcasts uh, recent activity your queue as well and that's just all within that menu as well. And then in Pandora, it'll load up all your stations on the on, on this once it's actually done loading. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through it. And then if you always wanna go home, if you need to go home, you can just go ahead and press this home button right there, that circle. And if you press it again, once you're on your home screen, that's going to exit out of Android Auto. And as always, you have your Google Assistant right here with the microphone. You can request it to send text messages, make phone calls, send a text message to Jason Ephraim. Text Jason E from sure. What's the message? Hey, this is a test text message. Here's your text to Jason E from hey, this is a test text message. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. All right, so you'll see to send a text message, it's actually a decent process. I kind of wish it, there was a streamlined version and a streamlined option, and it didn't actually take that long. There's also other voice commands you can do, such as, find me the nearest Chipotle. Showing results for find me the nearest Chipotle. All right, so you'll see it'll go ahead and load up results. You can go ahead and find one that you'd like. You can quickly tap on it, and then it's going to actually do navigation for you unless you hit dismiss. If you leave it on the screen, it'll load up through that bar, or you can tap navigation to go to it right away. And this is essentially the Maps application within Android Auto, and you'll see, of course, it is in full screen mode. To get out of full screen mode, you can go ahead and swipe down from the top. If you'd like to exit out of it, it brings up that home button, and that's an option for you right there. The next, I wanna go ahead and give you an example of what happens if you get a message while you're driving, it may be on your dashboard like so. What actually happens is it overrides and you'll see it brings this down and you have an option to mute or play message. So here's what happens. Here's the message. Hey Tim, you can press the voice button and say reply. So you can have the option to press the voice button, press reply, or you can mute it, or you can actually quick auto respond with I'm driving right now. So if I go ahead and hit I'm driving right now, it's going to go ahead and respond and you'll see this should say I'm here's driving right now. I'm driving right now. There you go. You can press the voice. So if you do want to actually reply. reply, you can. So let's go ahead and test that out. Reply. What's the message? Thanks for letting me know, period. Here's your text to Tim Schofield. Thanks for letting me know. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. 
And there you have it. And now I also want to talk about, so you'll see that sends and it's going to send to me. You can swipe up, but one kind of unfortunate thing is you can't actually swipe these away. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer is that none of these can actually be swiped away. So if there's something that pops up, maybe I don't want to go to Chipotle anymore. I really can't swipe this away. So that's a bit of a bummer. Now, if you do want to exit out of Android Auto, maybe I want to go ahead and read this email real quick. I can go ahead and do so. Do not do this while driving, I might add. Um, but you'll see that it sticks with these large back and a home button. So if you do go back, it's going to go back into this specific app. Now, if I press home, it's going to go back into Android Auto. So if you do back out of it, there is a quick way to get back into it. And let's say, for example, you're changing a song or in a call. If it turns coming up, the navigation will actually override and have a drop down, letting you know how long until your next turn. And of course, on the home screen, it's actually going to show you your navigation as well. So you can play pause music from your home screen and also read your messages, check some weather. But that will always be up there and, and keep updated throughout your navigation. One more I want to add is that you can uh, add specific music. So if I want to say play Pandora Station Blink-182. Okay, asking to play Blink-182. And it's going to load up the Blink-182 playlist for me. And then if for whatever reason you need to get out of Android Auto, like I said, you press this button twice, you hit exit. And if you are currently in navigation while you exit out of it, it's going to exit out of that navigation. So just kind of keep that in mind. It does not keep it running in the background. But anyways, that's really about it. That would be Android Auto in just about any car. I mean, obviously it helps having a mount, but that's kind of nice that they added it as an app so you don't necessarily need to have a whole dash installed in your car like me. I do not have one. So... Uh, a little nice addition hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did click that thumbs up you can subscribe to me as well lots more to come my pixel review coming tomorrow actually and that's really about it so thanks for watching guys